This is the midterm presentation for fantasy football management. Our TV show takes place at Red Mountain State, a fictional university has been dominating the college football scene since Coach Thomas joined the team 10 years ago. Now that the team lost its star player, they apply principles of management to not only cope with the loss, but to come back stronger and better than they were before. Our target market includes anyone who enjoys football as, a, as well as anyone who's interested in learning about the principles of management in a simple, easy way. As a group, we decided that drawing characters and illustrations by hand is the easiest way to get started and get working. Coach Thomas has been the head coach at Red Top Mountain State for 10 years. He is tough on his players, but they respect him. He subscribes to the efficiency perspective. He sees himself as an agent of the university. He is a defender. He takes a utilitarian approach to ethical concerns. He is strict on uncertainty avoidance. He prefers low involvement decision making. He works on the functional and business level. He is not the best at delegating tasks. He has a problem with ethnocentrism. Coach Dale has been part of the Red Top Mountain State football program for almost 20 years. His son was on the team before graduating and moving on to the NFL several years ago. He possesses strong interpersonal skills. He relies on the social responsibility perspective. He tries to be an anticipator. He prefers high involvement decision making and uses 360 degree feedback. He works on the functional level and attempts to be a spokesperson for his players. Coach Brian received a Ph.D. in game theory before being placed on as an advisor for, for the football team. Although management was hesitant at first, listening to Brian's unorthodox advice, soon they realized he was a valuable asset. It did not take long for him to be promoted to defensive coach. Brian functions as a monitor by looking out for new plays, possesses technical and conceptual skills, sometimes is unable to predict externalities, uses the retrospective decision model, and tries to make non-program decisions. He experiences escalating commitment with some of his decisions and works on the functional level. Philip received his AA in physical therapy from Red Top Mountain State 10 years ago. He spent five years working for the swim team while simultaneously studying for his psychology degree. After graduating a second time, Philip moved on to the football program and has been an integral part ever since. Philip functions as a disturbance handler. He is also a negotiator. He helps developing swift trust between parties. He also has a global mindset. Although Matt has never been academically stellar, his athletic potential is unprecedented. He has played football ever since his second birthday prompting people to refer to him as the Mozart of modern football. Matt has been the team captain for two years, and Coach Thomas is very dependent on his talent. Matt believes in team uniformity. He participates in collectivism. He tries to avoid groupthink, however, and he has unmatched technical skill. Adam just transferred to Red Top Mountain State and shows promise at being the school's new star wide receiver. However, the coaches are having trouble keeping this recruit in line. He has a hard time accepting power distance, has a strong case for individualism, and has competitive advantage with his superior value. He should analyze Porter's five forces because he is coming onto a new team. Peter has a full ride to Red Top Mountain State thanks to his athletic ability. Recently, however, he has been neglecting practice and has been dragging the team down. Peter has lost his competitive advantage by being substituted. Alicia was raised to believe that academics should be the number one priority and that sports are just a distraction. She tends to believe that this is true for everyone. She was hired by Red Top Mountain State last year to help with its deteriorating academic standing. Now, she is focusing on the athletics division. She is 
a devil's advocate by arguing the worst case scenarios. She takes the moral rights approach and threatens with the judgment approach. She has strong moral intensity with academic ethics. Episode 1, Peter's Problem, is based on individual and group decision making as well as managing diverse HR. This first episode talks about Peter and his problems relating to drug addictions. His coach, Thomas, is now faced with the problem of keeping him on the team or facing the hard decision of getting rid of him. Episode 2, The Meeting, is based on a chapter on strategic management. Here, the three coaches, Thomas, Dale, and Brian, meet with the team's physical therapist, Philip, to come up with a team strategy. These three coaches are coming up with a strategy that benefits both the success of the team as well as how to keep their fans happy. Some of the concepts touched upon on this episode are competitive advantage, company philosophy, identity, customers, technology, environment, and laws and policies. Episode 3, Practice, is all about planning. In this episode, the three coaches, Thomas, Dale, and Brian, split up and divvy tasks to implement strategic plans. While Thomas is working on the overall strategic and tactical plans, Dale and Brian are focusing on tactical and operational plans. Some of the themes covered in this episode are benchmarking, monitoring progress by support, and making real-time adjustments. Episode 4, The Game, is based on individual and group decision making as well as organizational structure and design. In this problem, we have problems on the football field. Players Matt and Adam are clashing on the field with their own differing opinions. Dale tries to step in and fix a problem, but he fails to do so. Coach Thomas has to step in and fix the situation. Some of the concepts covered during this episode are swift trust, 360 degree feedback, negotiation, collectivism, and power distance. Episode 5, Grades, is based on social responsibility and managerial ethics. During this episode, the advisor Alicia has a battle with Coach Thomas. She has come to the realization that the football players' grades are not where they're supposed to be. Although they argue a lot and Coach Thomas tries to propose a solution, nothing is satisfying enough to Alicia. Some of the concepts touched on during this episode are ethical dilemma, stakeholder, moral rights, and justice approaches. Episode 6, The Return, is based on managing diverse HR. Previous player Peter is ready to return to the team, but now Adam has taken his place. Coach Thomas steps in to figure something out with the boys. Episode 7, Game 2, is all about motivation and groups and teams. By now, the team, coaches, and staff must all work together to win the next big game. Although the first half of the game doesn't go as expected, Coach Thomas brings everybody together with an inspiring speech to hopefully turn things around for the second half. Coach Thomas must become a more socially responsible coach as well as have a higher involvement decisions to have the respect of his teammates. Coach Dale must develop a way to simplify his feedback for everybody to understand easier. Coach Brian must learn to step away from commitment and learn that his investments are resulting in bad sunk costs. Philip must learn to not take as much credit for his decisions. Matt will have to put more time into academics to push away the devil's advocate. Adam must learn to accept power distance in order to win games and the respect of his teammates. And Peter must regain his competitive advantage to be placed back on the team which he lost. The next steps for our group involve the following. Aleja and CJ will be proofreading the scripts and adding details to the work. Barbara and Grady will be improving, improving the dialogue and adding more concepts to the plot. I will be putting together the video and audio samples to create a finished product. And Noah will be drawing up the scenes and characters for our story. As always, thank you so much for watching. This is Fantasy Football Management.